Welcome back to Game for Your Thoughts. So we're going to give this another go, see what happens. Um, so I'm going to try to take advantage of this opportunity and uh, take two of these guys out by attacking their right leg. Um, oh, except for if these guys show up and uh, put an abrupt stop to those plans. Um, I was like, aha, this will work out really swell. But um, well, those guys had to show up and ruin all the fun. Oh, and I'm dead. <laughs> oh, man, I tried to tee that one up too hard. Okay, well, let's try that again. Oof, I'm embarrassed. Um, how are you guys doing? I'm doing really swell. If you're curious, um, and if you're not curious, that's fine too. But uh, just so you know, I'm doing really good. <laughs> I'm just dooming, slaying, doom slaying, slaying the dooms. Oh, yeah. Um, so I was thinking back to, like, old series I've done. And I was like, which one was my favorite? Because I've, like, games I've played all the way, start to finish. Like, which ones were, like, some of my favorite experiences? Um... And I was thinking about it. The Evil Within was a great experience. I loved the Evil Within playthrough I did. Um, I thought it was a really, really fun time. And I feel like it was a great um, learning. Oh, I attacked his arm. Okay, well, uh, so much for that. <laughs> um, I feel like it was a great learning experience. Because it was like right when I first started YouTube. So like everything was still fresh and new. And I wasn't really sure... like how everything worked, what was the best way to do everything, and uh, I did a lot of fun editing. Um, so the Evil Within was a great playthrough. Also, so was uh, Scooby-Doo, Night of 100 Frights. I really enjoyed that one. Um, Sly 2 was a weird one, because like it seemed to take like a thousand years to finish Sly 2, but that was mostly because I started it and finished it in like four months. <laughs> um, that one was a very long playthrough for a few reasons um the biggest being um that i started it in september and i fin i didn't finish until december which was about when um that was around halloween time when i took the break and played the last of us which was also a great playthrough um I actually really enjoyed The Last of Us playthrough. It was a very different playthrough, for sure, because that was the first time I'd ever done half an hour episodes. Um, I'd never done that long of episodes before. Um, so that was really, really cool to uh, experiment with that. Um, mostly just because I died again. Oh, come on. This is just straight brutality. Oh, man. Those barons of hell are tough. I don't feel like I'm moving enough. Sorry, I'm trying to get some water. My throat is parched. But, um, that snap on that water bottle was really loud. Um, but, like, The Last of Us was really cool because, like I said, it was the first time I'd done longer episodes like that, and it was it was a hard time for a lot of, of a game for your thoughts, mostly because of the half an hour episodes, just the way I had everything all set up and every, like the way most things were panning out. It was just like each episode took four hours to make by the time I played it, recorded it, uploaded it, um, edited it. And just everything took so long. Um, and so that one was a very uh, tough playthrough um, just because it was such a grueling four hours per episode and then I had like 20 something episodes so like it was it was brutal it was rough and it was just like I was struggling to keep up with the two episode schedule and things like that it was just like there was a lot going on around that time for me personally and then the channel itself and just and I kind of set myself up that way it was just kind of really weird and I learned a lot <laughs> um, and so it was just it was a party, <laughs> but uh, like I said, I learned a lot, and so it made the experience that much more worth it, uh, just because of how much I had learned from the whole shenanigans. Um, but it was all fun. I've never not liked doing this at all, like whether it was playing a game for review or playing a game for uh, like Let's Play sake. It's always just been a all-around spectacular time. And it's all mostly because of you guys. have just been so awesome about it. And, um... Oh, boy. Oh, okay, cool, cool. I was like, oh, boy. Yeah! Oh, boy. Oh, I was like, I just fell off a cliff. 
I'm dead. I've died. Oh, uh, where's the other one? There's two of them. Oh, there's one of them. Uh, let's try it behind the back. Oh, it took me to the front. <laughs> That's right, I shoved it like up his throat. So that was cool. Oh, and I shot his head off. That was great. Oh, man, I knew all I had to do was just beat those barons of hell and then the level would be over. But like, that was so much harder said than done. <laughs> but hey, we did it. We, we got the we got the thing. So now we can leave. Yay! Get back to Mars. Completed. Well, let's see what he has to say. Since, you know, this is where we found the character that I'm playing as, the Doom guy. His hand is very flat. Ooh, spooky. Wow, I learned so much from this cutscene. I guess it's not technically a cutscene. I learned so much from that hologram. Yeah, yeah, to... To the Mars! We did it! Man, that was doozy. <laughs> Great! Ah, oh, we almost got everything. We missed one secret, and we didn't get the all the combat challenges. But hey, that was pretty good. I would say that that level was a success. I guess the other secret we missed was the uh, handle, but that's okay. Let's see, you fought your way out of hell and managed to return, but now the demons have staked their claim on Mars. You must find a way to shut down the hell portal Olivia created. Oh my hell. <laughs> oh boy. Ouch. What in the world is that? It's like a breadcrumb like stab me or something i don't know whatever that was that was really stabby Ooh, you know it's like the worst thing ever when you're eating like popcorn or chips i specifically think of like tortilla chips or popcorn and you're eating it and you like bite it and like something stabs into your gums or the roof of your mouth oh it's so painful um like sometimes i'll get like popcorn kernels that'll like stab like into my gums and the space between my teeth oh it's the most painful thing ever and then you have to get like i have to like, usually get like um, ah, oh, what are those called? They're like little pinchy things. I gotta like reach in my mouth and pull them out. Wow. Cool. This level looks really awesome. Like, look how cool that is. Ah, so cool. Alrighty, let's see. A few minutes left? Okay. Um, okay, let's do this real quick. Let's do a monster uh, thing real quick. So, we have the summoner. It's like kind of the... Uh, whatever you want to call him. Uh, hammerhead shark lady. The Baron of Hell. He's nice and spooky looking. Um, okay, so this is the one. Is it Kakao Demon? I wish I had like something that would tell you how to say it. Cacao demons are monstrous psionic demons driven by the desire to feed. They display limited intelligence but are often sent into the fray as their natural size and abilities make them an intimidating weapon for the demon horde. Okay, so I think cacao demon. Hell knights, yes. Okay, creepy. Imps, nice. Lost souls, those guys look cool. Mancubus, nice. Reverent. Revenant, sorry, not reverent. Revenant, there's no R. Possessed Soldier, cool, cool. The Possessed, we knew that one. Possessed Engineer, creepy. Unwilling, cool, cool. The Hell Razor with a Z, I like it, I like it. Possessed Security, those guys are mean. And that's it, cool. Okay, we learned some things. Um, let's go through and slap in some... Uh, so you get five kills in five seconds while using the Gatlin Rotator. Cool. Incendiary bullets for my chain gun. That sounds awesome, doesn't it? Great. Okay. Uh, swift weapon mods faster. Yeah, let's throw that in there. That sounds awesome. Cool. And then let's see. We have two more weapon upgrade points. Let's throw those into. Uh, hmm. Let's do. Hmm. I guess the only thing I can do is the charge blast. So let's do. Um, Increase the fire rate of the charge blast burst on the uh, thing. Great. Alrighty. I think let's call this an episode here. Ooh, that's so cool looking. Like it's just like ooh, it's so pretty. Alrighty, cool. Well, we will call this an episode here. So thank you guys so much for watching again for your thoughts, and we will catch you on the next one.